Hello everybody, this is Val, but this is how you do it. And I am, I just took a shower, just washed my hair with conditioner. And I have already put some oil on it. I keep, I'm, I got a towel, you know, just in case I need it. Let me put it on my lap. And I just put this oil on it. And I'm going to uh, put some gel on it. I'm going to put some of this sports gel on it. I got this from the... Uh, Dollar Tree. It really don't matter what gel you use as long as it's alcohol free, y'all. If it activates your curls or define your curls, then that's perfect. Whichever gel works best for you. And don't put up a uh, a crunchy film or flakes in your hair. And you find, you find that out by trying different gels. And I'm just going to put this in my hair. I'm not going to put it in like layer by layer because I'm I plan on just using a ponytail this morning. But I would like to have a part in the front of my head. Also. I got my cup of coffee. I know doing a ponytail, that's not a big deal. But I just came on to um spend some time with y'all this morning. And I guess spending time is better than not coming on at all, even though I'm just doing something as simple as putting my hair back in a ponytail. Do you see how I put the gel on there without having to go through through my hair layer by layer? I put it on my hand, rubbed it in, and then cup it like that, putting it on my ends. Just something to do. Like I say, all I'm doing is making a ponytail, but then the, the part that hangs out of the ponytail will be curly. That's the reason of, of putting it mostly on the ends and then make this lay down. See? Like I said, I have oil on my hair. And since I put this gel on my hair that has no oil in it, I'm going to put some Hawaiian Silky on my hair. Hawaiian Silky does have oil in it. That, that, that'll that um, keep the hair soft and keep it from flaking. Because it's a lot of oil in this, or you can just put regular oil on your hair and do it. But I use the Hawaiian Silky because the Hawaiian Silky has plenty of oil. I'm squeezing all the excess off. I'm wiping on the towel. That's the excess gel. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do to my head. Then I'm going to put some makeup on. And oh, this top I got on, I got several of these because I ride bikes. And if I want to have on a black top in my black jeans, I um, have several of these tops. This belt and got, I lost a lot of weight. I may have to get me another belt, but uh, put.
put on another belt. <laughs> Girl getting smaller. I had said that to Will. I said these. I had on some pants. I said these pants don't got big. He said them pants ain't got big. <laughs> you done got smaller. <laughs> he said that. He said they ain't getting bigger. <laughs> Which is true. So the belt has not gotten big. Your girl has gotten smaller. <laughs> well, yeah, that was cute. And he's telling the truth. That's some good stuff, y'all. That is some good stuff. <laughs> well, you know, if you drink a lot of coffee and you smoke a lot, it's good to kind of try to keep your teeth white. I use uh, peroxide and baking soda, put it in a little container like this, mix it together to brush my teeth with to keep them white. It's the peroxide. And here's the baking soda. Put a little baking soda in there, a little bit of peroxide, make a paste. Because I know there are a lot of people that smoke. And a lot of people that drink coffee and tea. And that has a tendency to stain your teeth. And I am a person, when people look at me look at me, and I'm talking to them, I am looking them right in the mouth. Because that's, that's just where my focus goes. It's not so much the eyes, it's their mouth. And I'm looking at them talk and I'm watching them move their mouth and the, and I notice their teeth and smokers. I used to smoke too. So I used to have to do that and or get some, uh, some ultra bright toothpaste or something like that. And then I even invested in some teeth, teeth whitening gel. I got a box up here. Okay. There, where is it? I don't want to knock nothing down. Here it is. To let you know that I am speaking the truth. I got this teeth whitening gel from um, Amazon or eBay. But then you don't have to get this. You can get any any uh, gel you put in your mouth and you hold that little thing, clamp down on it. And it kind of uh, feel like it's heating or, or, or something. If your gums are bad, it, it may irritate your gums. So y'all, you know. At your own risk. And I know you can do it with lemon juice and uh, the acid from the lemon juice will keep uh, do your teeth if you put it on on the product on that uh, baking soda. Um, strawberries will do it, whiten your teeth. Let's click on some of these videos about teeth whitening, uh, natural teeth whitening, and all that kind of stuff. And then you won't have to buy that gel. But my thing is. The thing that works best for me is just the peroxide and baking soda. That other stuff is really not necessary. We spend a lot of money on on product because we think that's the thing to do because it costs a lot. That's not necessarily the thing to do because it's got a high price tag on it. No, it's not. Sometimes it's not even the healthy thing to do. Because you don't know what kind of chemicals are, are seeping into your gums when you do stuff like that. And you don't find out about it about years later when they come on TV. Hey, if you have done this, you may have a lawsuit. And I'm like, golly. Didn't you get that to cure something? And now, now it's all the way down to if the family member and died from it. I say, my goodness, they died from the cure. Not the disease. And that's awful. Haven't you heard about all these acid pills now that they're talking about um, doing stuff to folks? At least the commercials in Alabama saying stuff like that. And you be like, dog, all they had was acid reflux. And now they're talking about the pills that they took. It's worse than having it. Having it. I just, uh, just, just don't know nothing. Just don't know. Don't know what to do. Mm -mm. You don't know what to eat. You don't know what to drink. Because they saying something wrong with everything now. I'm going to do negative too. Y'all haven't seen me really work out of that too much. 
they pretty neutral also. Well, it's daytime, so I'm going to use the goldy orangey kind of thing. I'm not going to put any prime on my eyes. I'm just going to go ahead and go with it. Golly. Mm-hmm. Like I say, I just came on and I'm not really, uh, don't really have nothing on my mind. I have seen the news and the reports and things like that. And I'm not going to keep talking about it anymore. I'm just going to be sharing articles on Facebook. Because it's just getting so it's every other day you got to talk about something. And, and I don't know what else to say about that, y'all. Seem like it's just get, you're getting nowhere with it. So, but still needs to be talked about still need to be shared and people need to be aware so that's what i'm doing just mostly sharing stuff not really commenting on it just sharing it and let you make up your own mind about what you think about what you see just share the information so people know what you what you do with that information that's that's up to you and your conscience That's coming out of this palette, that last dark one right there. Maybe a little too dark. Hmm. That's some good makeup. It don't need just rub off. I guess I'll make this one a little darker. Let me make sure I put the brush back. Oh. I didn't put nothing in the corners. I know I went in that dark palette for some. Underneath the eye and over, and then fill in the middle. Over the eyelid, fill in the middle. Then wing it out. <laughs> it makes a difference, doesn't it? That 
that's still out of this palette. So that won't be so harsh and in, in, in transitioning. Rub that down just a little bit in the creek in the edge, you see. So it'll make look like it's flowing into it e easily and not so harsh. And I'm through with that. gonna put on a lip gloss this morning this one this is what I'm feeling this morning that's if this will come out good now I, I may have to feel something else this morning This feels kind of rough against the the mouth. This him worn is not that good this morning, and I don't want to ha have this with me all day trying to rub it on my lips and it feels so rough against my lips. Let's try this one. It's close and close to that. It feels better. The wand does. I don't know if I like that. What do y'all think? It's not, it don't have enough color in it and it's too shiny for me. It's too shiny. That's the only thing. Let me try this. That's a little too shiny. That's creamy. Feels good. I guess I don't like that shining. It's, that's better for me. And this is um That's what that is. And this is fair, but this is how you do it. And I'm going to get off this thing, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.